Alright, hello guys, I wanted to make this video a few days earlier, but I kind of got wrapped up with a bunch of things, but this is going to be the June forecast breakdown, so you're kind of going to see some of the reasons why I did certain things, uh, or called for certain things, and it, it was really abundantly clear in, in, in this this month's forecast to me what the temperatures were going to be like, uh, and really you're going to see that the models, the analogs, and also uh, the, the NOAA forecast all kind of correlate, and that's a really good sign that I have a pretty good idea of what's going to happen. Uh, we're not going to be talking about precipitation in this video. The models are calling for pretty much pretty similar conditions to what I was calling for in the precipitation. So I'm just going to make that a side note, but the temperature is definitely going to be the focus of this video. First, we're looking at the CANSIPS, and this is the Canadian uh, seasonal model here. And you can see that they're calling for colder conditions in the central United States. There is a little bit of cold there in California and Nevada, but really, uh, that's not not too too big of a deal we do see some warm there for the northwest and some of the the southwest and then you can see up against the east coast there is a little bit of warm so they're calling for a little bit colder conditions than what i'm calling for but definitely they see the colder conditions in the central united states and the warmer conditions for the two coasts now here's the uh nmme model i don't really know what this model is uh, but it's one of the seasonal models that's on tropicaltidbits.com. So I just wanted to show it because it is calling for similar conditions as well. Cold in the central United States there. You can see this one looks really, really close to my forecast, actually. Uh, and then warm for the northwest. If only there was some warm there for California, it would look exactly like my forecast. Uh, and then you can see up against the east coast as well. They're just calling for warmer conditions. But over the central United States, definitely slightly colder than average, according to this model. Now, here's the CFS V2, and you can see the cold is a little bit centered, a little bit further west than what I'm calling for, but nevertheless, there is colder conditions for the central United States, and then warmer conditions for the two coasts here. You can see California, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, and then uh, through the southeast, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, up through the rest of the northeast and mid-Atlantic states. Now, just to remind you, here's a look at my temperature forecast, uh, just I'm going to show this multiple times during this video, uh, but you saw those two, those three models that I just showed, and then here was what my, my forecast was for the temperatures, and you can see that this looks quite similar uh, to all, all of those models. Cold in the central United States, and then warm on the two coasts. Now, we're going to be looking at my analog years, and you can see it's 2000 and 2014, uh, the two Junes, and you can see warmer on the two coasts and then colder for the central United States. Everything isn't placed perfectly for what my forecast was, but nevertheless, again, colder in the central United States, warmer on the two coasts. And then another look at my, my forecast for June, you can see it looks quite similar. Warmer on the two coasts, colder in the central United States. Now we're gonna be looking at NOAA's forecast, and you can see warmer on the two coasts and colder in the central United States. And then one last time, we'll look at my forecast. Warmer on the two coasts, colder in the central United States. I think you guys can get the hint that basically everything is leaning towards what my forecast was. And it looks very clear uh, that I have, I'm have i on to the right idea and everything else is as well. So uh, I have pretty high confidence in this one. Uh, this is one of the more clear forecasts to make for me sometimes things don't correlate like that sometimes no is calling for one thing and my models are calling for another and then the analogs are calling for another but they all seem to be kind of on the right track or they seem to seem to have the same idea so my confidence is a little bit higher this time around anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this forecast breakdown let me know if you like these after the seasonal and monthly forecasts i'll be sure to definitely do them uh after every seasonal and monthly forecast they're pretty easy to make because i save these photos anyway just for when I'm making the actual maps that I make. So I have these just here, and, and it's a quick video to make. So, again, let me know if you like these. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe for more videos if you haven't already, if this is your first video. This would be kind of a weird <laughs> a weird video to see for your first time, but uh, if it was, make sure to subscribe. I do seasonal forecasts, monthly forecasts, and all sorts of forecasts for pretty much everything. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.